everyone. My name is Abdurrahman Labaid. I'm a senior here at Al Bayan Bilingual School, and I have a growing passion for art. If I could describe myself using three words, I would choose anxious, outgoing, and committed. I emphasize on the word anxious because that is exactly how I feel standing on the stage right now speaking to you. However, one of the best ways I cope with my anxiety is by surrounding, my, surrounding myself with art. Growing up, art has always been something that I was intrigued by. I used to draw whenever I could. I used to look forward for all of my art classes at school. I used to even draw on the walls of my living room, which, as you can imagine, used to know my mother. So naturally, it only made sense for me to join Mr. Hobbs' AP art class in the beginning of this year. I love art as it gives me the chance to express myself, my emotions, and my, 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 my ideas. It allows me to communicate with the audience through I draw, paint, sculpt, or even photograph. As I said earlier, I'm an anxious person who deals with a lot of stress and cloudy thoughts that I believe art could cure. Art is my escape from reality and the medicine that I need that keeps me motivated, and that is why I enjoy it so much. During my high school career, I have joined approximately five art classes, which were the foundations of art, graphic design, art and design two, ceramics, and AP Studio Art. Prior to joining these classes, I believed that we needed to have natural born talent in order to create something artistic. However, being in those classes has taught me otherwise. My teachers were all patient with me. They guided me on developing my art skills and helped me better my artwork. Their support is the reason I am on this stage right now, and without them, none of this would be possible. So now let me talk to you about the process in which I create my artwork. Everyone has their own rituals when it comes to creating art. My personal rituals, per, my personal process usually consists of me listening to music or watching reality TV shows or even socializing with the people around me. Doing this makes my work 10 times more efficient. I usually write down the ideas, colors, and textures I want to go into my artwork on my sketchbook so that I don't forget what the image I have planned in my head. This may sound easy, but in truth, art takes time, dedication, and effort. It was certainly not easy for me because I have a bit of a procrastination issue. It was regular for me to start an artwork and then work on it, or continue working on it later on in days or weeks, whatever time I needed, in order to work on it again. I learned over the years that art was, that art was flexible with its process. It's normal for artists to lose interest in their work as long as they go back to working on it later on. For example, Leonardo da Vinci too had a procrastination issue. Did you know it took him about 16 years to create the famous Mona Lisa? That's almost two years less than my entire lifetime. Taking breaks keeps us artists craving our work so that when we get back to it, we work harder than before. Now on to the artworks that I've created in this past year. For AP Studio Arts, each student has to turn in 15 artworks to the college board that revolve around one theme. The theme that revolved around my artwork was the emotion of anger. Anger is an emotion that humans, animals, and maybe even plants feel regularly. I wanted to capture how anger changes our facial expressions, body language, and even actions. On this screen, you'll see some of the artwork that I've, some of the digital artwork that I've created in this past year. For this first piece, I wanted to show that anger doesn't always have to be expressive, but could also sometimes be unexpressive. Some people um, tend, to, tend to get angry and don't show it in their actions or emotions. I wanted the background to represent the anger for my model. The colors and textures, I wanted to be more violent to, again, represent that anger for my model. Here we have two separate pieces that kind of connect into each other, um, li that, like a story. The one on the left shows how anger could sometimes get um, aggressive and physical between two people. The background is more explosive and wild in order to represent that anger for the models. And then the one on the right shows how anger could sometimes, uh, the possible result of anger, which is um, being regretful or sorrowful, whatever it may be. The background, as you could see, kind of melts into the uh, models because I wanted to represent that sorrow. Um, for this piece, I also wanted to talk about the physicality of anger and how, um, in truth, when you hit something or someone, you experience that pain that you let out too. Um, uh, as we learn in physics, which is one of Newton's third laws, um, for every action, there's an equal or opposite reaction, and so I wanted to capture that in this uh, piece. Now I'll quickly go over the rest of my artworks in order to save time. Um, for this piece, I wanted to capture um, each part of the human face and the beauty of it when expressing anger. Um, this piece talks about, uh, oh, 
depicts you know the um, the fists that we create when we get angry or when we want to get physical or want to whatever it is when we get angry. Um, this piece um, also discusses how like um, sometimes people let out their anger by shouting or screaming, whatever it may be. Um, here I wanted to. Um, to depict anger in animals, because as I said, anger is also an emotion that animals feel on a regular basis. Here I wanted to capture two emotions in one, one piece, which is anger and then regret and sorrow. The, uh, the part in the middle represents the anger, and then the sides show the um, regret coming, after, coming out from the anger. And then finally, we have this piece, which um, uh, I wanted to show how some people cope with anger. Um, some people um, tend to listen to music or draw or work out or bake, whatever it is, whichever outlet you choose to represent. Um, I'll finalize my speech by saying art is a beautiful way for us to express ourselves. Um, it may stress us while creating it, but in truth, it leaves a beautiful mark on our souls after we're finished. Um, art makes the, uh, our environment thrive and develop in something beautiful. As you can see here in, in BBS, we have art everywhere from the walls outside to the ceilings to the lockers now um, because it leaves, it, it makes us, you know, refreshed and, and feel beautiful coming into school. Um, uh, for that reason, I um, want to let you, wait, for that reason, I hope that you guys become more open to the idea of creating your own artwork just as I have. Um, and thank you for your time and have a good night. I'm sorry for <laughs> 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 Goodbye.